Russian army soldiers have attacked a Ukrainian army position in the forest lane with four infantry armored fighting vehicles and dozens of infantry soldiers near Ruskia Konopelka village in Sudza district in Russia's Kursk region. The attack of the Russian army was stopped by the fighters of the 61st Brigade of the Ukrainian army with artillery and drones. Two vehicles and 25 soldiers were destroyed, and the other two vehicles were forced to retreat. Cemeteries filled with Russian soldiers killed in the war with Ukraine are rapidly growing across Russia. A new video has appeared online showing an eyewitness taking a picture of the size of a military burial site on a mobile phone. Social media users note that this is an unprecedented phenomenon as nothing like this has happened during Afghanistan or the Chechen wars. The published footage shows a huge burial site easily identified as military by the flags of Russia and Russian airborne and marine units. According to conservative estimates by Western media, the number of Russians killed in the war has already reached several hundred thousand. Cemeteries of those killed in the northeastern military district continue to grow rapidly throughout Russia, a completely unprecedented phenomenon. The senseless and criminal war will leave behind a noticeable trace in the form of hundreds of thousands of graves throughout the country. Putin will die and people will wander among these graves and ask themselves, why was all this done? Why were so many people exterminated? And the only answer will be the gloomy silence of the cemetery. Comments on the footage, the Russian Telegram channel, Seatel Vetra. Through open source research, Media Zona, a Russian independent media outlet, together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 72,899 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion. Since Media Zona's last update in late September, the names of 1,842 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. According to the journalist, Russian soldiers killed in action in 2024 tend to be increasingly older in age as the average age for volunteer recruits continues to soar. The plurality of volunteer recruits killed in the war fall most prominently between the ages of 48 and 50 years old. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 4,100 officers have been killed in combat in Ukraine. The analysts also note that at least 13,438 Russian inmates have been killed on Ukraine's Eastern Front. According to Media Zona's estimates, a majority of these killed in action come from Rostov, Sverdlovsk, Bashkiria and Chelyabinsk oblasts, as well as the Buryatia Republic. A surge of recruitment by the Kremlin in the predominantly Muslim regions of Bashkortostan and Tatarstan have also showed an increase in those killed in action and in recent months. The last few months amid the renewed Kharkiv offensive as well as Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast, Russian forces have experienced some of its heaviest losses since the start of the full-scale war. Ukraine although that number is likely significantly higher in the months since the report's release. As of October 12, 2024, the Ukrainian military estimates Russian combat losses at 667,630 troops, which likely includes Russian military personnel that have been killed, injured, captured and missing in action.